Jay Rock percent off collector. We're here with another Transformers unboxing and review. And uh, can you guess where I got this from? If you guess Timu or AliExpress, you get a you get a point because I got this from AliExpress. And um, it's a KO reissue, so there was already a reissue, but this is a KO of that. And to be honest. I'm excited because I always wanted this set. I didn't really care about the box. I was just wanted to see, you know, have the original. I, I had a few pieces of as a kid, but never had the full set. I got the, was it Titans Return version? I might be wrong on the, 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 the exact name, but the larger figure, the 5.5 five, 5 inch uh, version, also a knockoff. You can see a review about that. And that was cool, but I still wanted the original just because that, that was a nostalgia thing. So, we're going to open this up, put it together, and see if it's something that is going to be worth it as part of your collection. Alright, so as you can see, the box is uh, jacked up. Uh, and literally, it, it this is exactly how it came. It wasn't like I took it out and even checked to make sure all the parts were there. This is how it came. And this is a good example of how most of the things you're going to get when you order from AliExpress. So just be aware of that. Now, it doesn't mean that anything inside is broken. Um, we'll see because, you know, if you go look at our other site, which is Women of Action Figure, I did get a knockoff of the NECA... April O'Neil, which was horrible, and I was not happy to have that as part of my collection. But for the most part, I haven't had an issue with Transformers, especially G1 versions, just because I assume that the materials and the technology, whatever, that went into that isn't something that is so difficult to replicate that even if there is substandard quality, you're going to run into many problems. The exception would be pieces where it was loose even in the legit version, for instance, Swoop's wings, even though in the end I got a replacement and that was fine. But most of the G1s that I've gotten have had no problem. So let's see if we don't have any problem here. Now you can see the box looks pretty legit, that's cool, but because it comes all broken and jacked up, you're not going to really be able to do anything with it anyway. But I still appreciate it that that's what it came in, so it's like I know that that's how it came. I don't I don't like to do the loose stuff through AliExpress because that's where you have the chance to really get something broken because it's coming from China and all that. So, all right, so that's the first part. And it does look like the rest of the pieces are in here. So that looks so far so good. Let me scroll down a little bit here. So you can see these are all the accessories. So this being in a little plastic baggie, that makes me feel a little bit more confident that um, the parts may actually be here. So let's zoom in just a little bit. Well, a little, little too much there. All right, so a little bit there. All right, so, so far so good. Everything looks cool. Um, so I wanna just, I wanna get into the review because there's a lot of pieces in here, so I don't want it to take too long. But uh, for me, this is kind of the reason why I don't have a problem with some of these knockoffs because for me, the nostalgia is just where, hey, I didn't get all the pieces and I wanted to play around with it and I want to have some fun and I'm probably going to build it into Devastator and then it's going to sit on my, uh, you know, bookshelf, you know, probably indefinitely. <laughs> so doesn't really mind uh, me getting a knockoff and I only paid $49 for this. I think it's still, you can still find it on the site. I'll put a link in the description for about 55 bucks. And there's all types of little coupons and stuff that you can get together to probably get it down to 49 because I think I waited for one of their sales. They basically have a sale almost every other week. And they had something where if you spend over 50, I think you got six bucks off or something like that. And I put that together and that's how it went from like 55 to like 48, 63, like a crazy number like that. So as far as like what you get, this is one of the things that's kind of a clue of the knockoff is that none of the stickers or something comes on it. And I actually have an actual one, a legit G1 here that I picked up kind of as something to compare. So we'll do a better comparison later. But one of the things that you'll see is it doesn't have um, 
doesn't have the rub symbol on on it when it comes in these where back in the day that's what it did so oops I actually messed up the little instructions but again I don't I don't care I would I would never try to sell this you know period I definitely would never try to sell it as an original but I would I would I wouldn't even sell it as a knockoff but I'd rather just tell somebody hey you can go and get it on AliExpress um, but you can see that you know it has all the stickers which is cool because you know sometimes I do want to put some stickers on things but I may not want to do all of the stickers like that doesn't matter to me but if it matters to you you know that you have that available and then here are the other set of stickers so again cool and I have a whole bag full of these from the ones I got from Timu and the one I got from AliExpress then here's a decoder so that's cool so here are the actual rub symbols and I noticed that I've had a problem where a lot of times they didn't activate from my finger see like it doesn't I don't know if it I don't know if it's just me but then again let me look at this one maybe maybe I'm just cold I thought I was a heartwarming guy but maybe not I mean it's cold right now see I'm not even activating it now but I I guess it could be that this is kind of old too I, I don't know do these things like run out or something <laughs> let me know in the comments that these run out because I seriously don't know um so the instructions here pretty good and actually the like the the paper and all that that they did this with actually feels good too which is kind of surprising so a lot here but luckily these are g1 so even me who is a terrible at transforming should be able to do this i'll decide if how much i do on camera just because this is going to be a longer video just because even though it's simple it's so many parts but you see the styrofoam here let's just take all of these out I do like that it has a little hole in the back so that you can help push it out there. So that's cool. And this, and like I said, that's another thing I like about going to garage sales and collecting things because it also gives me an opportunity sometimes to get the legit version as well. And then I can compare it to the knockoff. So let's, just, let's start with that. So you see the pieces here, we'll go through them, but Let's look at these two, for example. So you got these two here, and this is kind of like what I talk about. So like, oh, so I guess, yeah, I forgot that this, that's another thing. This was missing the, the little canopy piece. So the first thing I would say is like weight wise, that feels the same. Like, you know, like sometimes you get that super, super light plastic, but this feels the same. And you know that back in the day, Come on, Hasbro and stuff, they were trying to save money too. So it's not like they put a ton of stuff in it. So that feels right. Um, it's hard to tell with like looseness, I guess, maybe just because, um, you know, depending on like, this, like, I don't know what kind of wear and tear this had on it. So that could be different, but you can see, let's, let's zoom in there really good. You can see that they even put the Hasbro stuff here. So you can see where it says pretty much the same, but you can actually see that it is different in the way it's situated. So I guess that's the one thing that if, you know, you have someone that's like a dirt bag <laughs> that's trying to sell stuff as legit. And unfortunately I have seen that, you know, then it could be harder to tell, but you know that's why it's always important to be careful with anything that you know has a reissue so like this one i'm pretty sure it had the sticker on it i'm not so th sure though let me know in the comments if you know it did come with this uh, with the sticker already on or with this did you have to put the sticker on um but like everything else like the screw even and all that all that looks the same let's look at the side i mean obviously this one's older so you know, there's fading with the color, but I think that the color is would have been right. You know, tires and all that, that feels like the exact same material. So underneath, you can see here an example of how it comes and it doesn't have any of the stickers on it versus this one having some on it. So you can always put your own stickers on it. And then like this here, all that, this was this is plastic, this is plastic. So all of this to me is is basically the same. So that's why I say, like, as far as going after G1s, uh, 
I have no problem with going after a G1, um, you know, knockoff because for the most part, it's not going to be something where it's a huge difference. I mean, it could still could be like when you transform it or do something that it might feel different, but I don't think so. I mean, like these, these are simple. Like I said, even for me to transform, I mean, like, like that's, that's it. Like, Oh, I forgot. He actually does sit like this. For some reason, I was thinking that um, he sits higher, but he doesn't. So, I mean, that that's it. I mean, you can adjust this. I think this this does come off. So I think that's how we lost the other. Well, whoever lost, lost the other one. Um, but that's it. So, I mean, I'll show you just quickly to finish the comparison. I mean, so, bam, there you go. And then this one, it's a little loose, actually, so it doesn't actually... Oh, wait, so I am wrong. It does stand all the way out. So then this one is just... Is it just stiff? Because this one, I cannot do... This one I can, but this leg... Wow. Like, I don't know what's happening here. Let me see if I can zoom in and see... Am I hitting something? That, oh, it looks like maybe that's why. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so I guess this would be an example that you guys can see. You can see like where the plastic was hitting here and you see how it hit and it flaked off. So, I mean, that would be an example of a quality issue. So because of that, that's why I was like, wait a minute, I can't stand him up correctly. But now, now he is. So, so it's like now you have the two that are the same <clears throat> and basically when you transform into the robot mode it's basically kind of like a half transform back into the truck and then there you go so and then it has all his weapons so most of the weapons are the little simple ones here like that so that's cool and we'll go through all the different little pieces too especially when we're putting together devastator but that's why i just want to you know start off by just showing you that difference in you know the legit and the knockoff so yeah you might get something like that with the quality but overall i mean especially if you're just displaying you just want to have it i just don't think you're going to run into to any big problems and then so you got the other ones so again looking sweet and you know for a person like me who grew up with these and, and by the you know, like I said, by the time I was getting these, it was like early 90s or late 80s. So like most of the people, pretty much all of it was um, uh, used, you know, so someone gave it to me. My mom wasn't going and buying this set. We didn't have money like that. But for instance, like the die cast here, that's, that's that real metal. So you can see the difference here. Like this is that plastic with the chrome finish on it but like this and then this that is actual the die cast metal and i found that with other versions and i think i think this is too yeah well, feel, no this is this is plastic but but yeah that part is definitely die cast metal so that's just cool i mean i i appreciate that uh just just having that and again like i said all these are simple transformations but the fact that they actually have the die cast metal to me is just sweet and let's see if this is another one where it's like oh wait but that's the thing like because of the way the plastic is it's like i don't know if like sometimes you might get a thing here where it's like a little bit too rough to open that's what it feels like. At first I was like, is there something here that I missed? I didn't know that you can slide this out and like move it around. But I think I was, I think you're supposed to move this with a transformation. But see, that's that's the thing. Like even with something like this, can, oh, there we go. If I can mess it up, I will mess it up. So I mean, pretty much that's it. This head feels a little loose. So I will mention that. And then I guess that's what this switch is here is to lock it into place. Yeah, so like that, 
that that slide feels like hard, but I think that's also just because it's new. I don't think it's anything else. And then this is supposed to go down. But see, it's like... Again, I don't know if it's the, the way the plastic... Oh, no, this one. Okay, I see what it is. This slides, and I had it over here. So once I slide it over, okay, now it's there. But you see that the head fell down again. So again, that could be a quality issue where you probably wouldn't have that issue with the head on a different one. I think all the guns are the same with that because there's a bunch of these little guns in here and their hand slots look the same. Well, this one feels like it's too big. Let me try the one from the other guy. This one fits better. So I don't know if that's a thing or if that's quality, because those are questions you'll constantly be asking yourself because of, of that. Like, oh, does this not fit right because it's not supposed to be there? Or does it not fit right because there's a quality issue? So there we have that one. So that's cool. Then the dump truck. I always liked the dump truck. I always thought that was sweet. And then here you can see again, has the Hasbro and all that. The colors, I don't think this one has die cast in it. This one feels a little loose around here. Nothing terrible, but it does feel loose. And then got the heart. Oh, and this one, he actually has the hands that roll out. So. And then the head. I wonder if. Ah, ah, there you go. I always thought that was kind of funny with the head like that. It's like he just got his chest out. Like he like like he hard right there. With this big old dump truck right there. He scrolls down a bit. He got that big old dump truck. And I think there's oh no, this is part of the connection for I think for Devastator. So I was trying to see other weapons. I could have sworn there's a weapon that can fit. No, that's too big. I think that this one is No, that's too big, so I forgot who goes with that. I think this one fits. Nope, that one doesn't fit either. So that is strange. I'm not sure. I know they have different ones. Like, we also have these. I think that's too big too, right? That's weird. That one feels like it fits, but kind of. Like most of the ones that it feels like they kind of fit, but then kind of not. But I don't know, like I said, it's possible that I'm mis mix matching the the actual guns that's supposed to go with that, but I don't know. So maybe, maybe, maybe not. All right, so then this one, I think this is Mix Master, right? Makes sense with the mix. I do like that this does spin. And then, you know, again, very simple. I mean, you basically see the head just in there like that. So, I mean, you can already just tell what the transformation is. Um, I could just say, like, again, a lot of times, the more detailed something is, that's where the quality can lax when you have a knockoff. But again, since the G1 stuff was so simple, it's not a big problem, so. And again, a lot of this is just, it's a little stiff just because it's new. I forgot what this does. I'm not sure exactly. But I think, I think that's it because the head, yeah, the legs down here can't actually do anything. And these look like the same small hands as, as the original gun. So I'm thinking that, that these types go here, but see again, it's, it's really a tight fit, but I mean, that, that's it. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think I missed something. Let me know. I don't think anything else goes down because I think all this is solid parts. So. That's basically it once you transform that guy. And then you have this guy. And I always liked anything with like a hook or something like that. I also like that this kind of bends back and hides. I think, was this the only one that kind of had a little bit more of a transformation to it just because of the legs, I think. I thought it swerved out like this. Oh, maybe it's just down. Oh, a little piece fell off there. So that's on this side. Okay, that doesn't look like it's anything serious. That looks like it's just, uh, just a piece here. 
so I don't I don't think that's bad it, it doesn't look like no it doesn't look like it's broken but it's possible that this could have been just a little bit loose too so we could put that down as a possible um, quality failure I don't know it doesn't bother me oh and then I forgot how the arms went with this one does it just pop out okay yeah so it pops out on the side and th so this could be another s part where it's like you wonder about the quality because you know when you have to slide something out like that but you see I mean that's that's really simple it's not like it's too flimsy in there so for the most part you would think okay I should be okay with that but I thought that it's supposed to slide out enough that you can yeah there you go so that's the only thing is just the mixture between being new you just want to make sure that it's like this one feels okay so it looks like once you hear that little click that's kind of your shot to know okay I got it let's see the head on this one that feels better but seems also because it almost kind of feels like it doesn't lock into place but it feels like it just fits better in the place and then I guess I have sworn that the legs turn on this because it's Oh no, that's what it is. It's this that turns. And then that's how you have its feet. This one, oh, so that's weird. I had to turn it the other way to do it. it. Like when I turned it the way that I thought, it didn't work. Now you can see here, that could be another issue with quality. See how, how that happened? Um, but, you know, again, very simple. <laughs> Very simple, nothing crazy to it, so that's cool. And then, last but not least, we got this guy here. And again, it's got that kind of arms where it's his tracks. This, I think was the same thing. Oh, I think you roll this down here. Yeah, then, and there's another one, I think, because the arms do that. And I think the chest forms like that. This goes back and then the head goes up. Look at me acting like I know how to transform. And then again here at the legs at the bottom, they're supposed to turn. But see, this is a problem I had. Oh, wait, I think this, was this the one that it opens? I thought one of these, it opens at the bottom. Oh yeah, like I see this little crease here, but that one is not moving like when I put my finger to move that. So you know what? I'm going to deal with that later because I mean, I'll, I could definitely be here all day doing that. But yeah, so the arms flip up like this. And this could be like a quality check because that is a little bit more than what you would normally be used to doing is, you know, that joint here and then down here. But I think that this is, is this? No, I think that's just plastic as well. But I mean, that that doesn't feel bad at all. It's a little loose when I do it, but not, I mean, it, it holds. So I mean, that's really all I care about. I mean, in the end, the whole thing is like, does it go with Devastator? So it's like, yeah, I know that here with the feet, that's what goes, but this one is being a little jerk. So I'm not even gonna worry about it. So that's that's pretty cool. I mean, we basically have all the guys here. All, all looking fine. And then, so I'm gonna move these guys out and then just quickly look over the accessories. And then we're gonna do movie magic for Devastator. Cause as I said, this video is long enough, but I wanted to show you guys everything and see if anything seemed like it, like it broke. Um, but everything here looks cool. So it looks like we have all the pieces here. We got the fists. The different connection pieces i think part of this is 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 the gun that's why they have like the firing uh pins here and then you have the big gun here so all this stuff is is pretty simple and then you see you have the other guns basically that go with the figure which is these ones and then you have this so let's see as far as the little weapons here this one this one was like want to give me a little pain so i mean that's that's done 
And then, so you have that, and I think maybe it's loose until you load it. Hmm. I don't think I have that wrong, but it's possible. Oh, there we go. So that's cool. I mean, I like that chrome feel, so let's see if it works. Oh, oh wait, is it this way? Oh, that's weird. I swear I couldn't tell in the end which way. It's like almost like up or it's almost like pull up. So I don't know if that's an issue. Or am I doing something wrong? Let me see the other one. That one seemed much easier. So again, it feels okay. So this one was like a push in the shootout. So it's possible that this there could be a little quality issue here. I mean, you see a little something here. So, I mean, anything where maybe you have a mechanism like that, that could be an issue. Uh, you have chest plate area, and then you have the Devastator head. So, all looking good. So, let's do what we came to do. Let's put together Devastator and see how he looks. All right, so now we have him transformed as Devastator and on the turntable, which is weird because now, I don't know if you can tell, he's kind of doing a moonwalk on the, on the turntable. Uh, so there's a few things that I can say, I guess it could be quality wise that you could look out for. And that's kind of why I didn't do the transformation on camera, just because there were a couple of pieces that I just knew was going to be a little thing. And it's part of it is just the design, but you can see overall, I mean, it, it looks and transforms just like the G1. But one of the things I will talk about is the springs on the hands. So the thing is, is that these springs, it's just really, really loose. So I mean, like you, you breathe on it, a wind comes by and touches that and then this is going to come out. Um, also, I would say that so the the way you connect this on the back here is you can see that you plug it in here. And it's like, if I want to get really close, you can see. So you, if you, you plug it in there, and then on the other side, it's actually up here. So you see that? So these don't fit great. And it's like, this already was wobbly. So you can see the effect that you get. You see that? So it's like, it's not terrible. But like, again, this is, this is one of those things where it's kind of like pose versus play. Because if you're posing it, I, I don't really care because once I get locked in, I mean, even the spring part, it's like, okay, if I really just want it to stick, I could just, I could even glue it for all I care, you know, like something like that. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me, but it's something that you should be aware of. And honestly, a lot of the other parts really had no problem, like fitting the legs here, um, like the little piece, connector piece. Let me zoom in here again. So like this piece to connect the legs, that went in with no problem. Um, same thing, the chest plate, that went in with no problem. Back here, the head where you slide it in up here, again, no problem. Um, you know, this here up top, this part, a little loose, but nothing bad. And then the problem is, like I said, because of this, how it fits, turning the hand and all that, like you can do it but it's not great so that's just you know that's just an example of what i mean of the quality and like even here at the bottom on the, of the leg like i noticed that on the g1 this, it seems like there's a little bit more of a bend to it or maybe it's just something with the plastic messed it up so you have to be really careful and like i said i just think it's funny the fact that he's like basically doing a handstand to make it work but because of that you know it it, it is it can be a little problem but I mean, you can see it. I mean, it is spinning on its turntable, even though the turntable isn't fast or anything. But, you know, it is, it isn't, it's not going to be a thing where it's like, again, if you are moving a lot, it'll probably have an issue where it could tip over. But honestly, the fact that it does sit and is able to spin without falling all the time uh, doesn't, doesn't bother me or, you know, doesn't have any problem with that. So it's really just those springs there, like I said, and then these connectors up here. But once you get it in, you know, it's it's all good. That that just did not sound right. But like I said, I'm I'm happy overall. Let me take it off this turnstile and just put it straight away so you can see. 
And I, I don't know, I'm, I'm happy. It, it does feel like it's a little, like sometimes like it's feeling like a little leaning forward. That could be me, I don't know. Um, but I'm happy with it. Um, I always wanted this guy. I wish this one seems to have the problem staying higher up. And this was the one earlier that when I was pressing on, it was like a really weird to get it to stay. So it's like, it's hanging low like that. That doesn't bother me. I mean, I can work with that. Like I said, I don't plan to shoot uh, any other weapons from that. So I may even like glue it or something like that. I don't know. And then as I said, the rotation turn can be wobbly. Like you see what happens here because of that. Look at that, see, that popped out. So it's like that piece just, it, it was kind of hard to push that in and then this wobbles so much. So it's like, again, if it's just sitting there, it's not a problem, but moving it, you're not gonna be able to do a lot of poses with it. But again, G1 doesn't do a lot of poses anyway. So again, not a big problem. So as I said, I'm happy with it. Um, you know, you can see like up here where there's like a little bit of gap with a transformation, but I mean, honestly, I've seen that even with G1s. But then again, those were older, so that could be why. Um, same thing like on the back area here, like with dump truck, a little spacing with that, you know, that that could just be, could be partly me, but I don't, I don't think so. I actually think that's just the way the design is. Um, and the leg sometimes feels a little bit off, like the way it sits here on the bottom. It's, it, can, it seems like you really need to make sure that you put uh, the scooper down so that you catch it correctly. But once you do, it doesn't seem like there's a problem with it standing. So um, besides the spring parts, I really don't have a problem with this. Um, that's okay. And I do know you can remove the spring, but I did see, uh, I did read that if you do remove the spring, it still will have a problem catching it. So again, it might be one of those things where you just glue it. This side seems to be okay now, but still you kind of like barely brush against that. It's going to fire out. But overall, I say it's worth it, especially if you can get it around that 50 bucks mark with, um, you know, different coupons that they have. So I'll put the link in the description. But overall, I'm still happy to get this just for the nostalgia factor. Of course, it meets my requirement of having a good discount on it. And I can definitely say that I'm happy to have this as part of my collection. Hey, thanks for checking out the channel. And if you like what you've seen, please consider giving us a like, comment, a sub, all that stuff. It really helps the algorithm as we try to make a push to reach out to more collectors that, like me, like to get that discount. Because you know how I say, no discount, no deal. All right, catch you later.